Disney has signed a new deal with the Recording Academy to move the Grammy Awards from CBS to ABC starting in 2027. The move leaves CBS with only one of the four major entertainment awards shows, the Tony Awards, and gives ABC the Oscars and now the Grammys. The Emmy Awards rotate yearly among the four major commercial networks. CBS has been home to the Grammys for 54 years. Financial terms of the 10-year deal, which also calls for the telecast to stream live on Hulu, were not disclosed. The deal also calls for the Recording Academy to produce multiple Grammy-branded specials and additional new programming for audiences around the world across Disney's platforms. Sony Electronics has released the Software Development Kit version 2.4.0 for its spatial reality displays, designed for 3D content creation. With added multi-display support, viewer log functionality, and extended development platform compatibility, this update allows content creators to produce even more immersive and high-impact 3D content. SDK version 2.4.0 introduces the ability to combine multiple spatial reality displays for larger and more engaging visual setups. This new functionality offers several options, including both vertical array and horizontal array, and grid array. The latter allows to create a 2x2 grid of four displays, producing the equivalent of a 55-inch screen, perfect for displaying large objects or creating impactful viewing experiences. In addition, SDK 2.4.0 offers expanded support for leading development platforms, including Unreal Engine 5.4, Unity Plugin DX12, and extended OpenXR compatibility. Pixel Power, a Rodi and Schwarz company, has announced several significant key appointments that will support the future expansion of the business. Stuart Russell joins as the company's new marketing manager. Stuart brings 13 years of marketing expertise in the media production industry, having held high-profile brand, marketing, and communications roles with Videndum and Ross Video. Asad Shah fulfills the role of project engineer and brings extensive practical knowledge of delivering premium content. Stephanie Leroux will be instrumental in keeping the team on track with project and development deliverables in her new role as project manager. Aaron Stowers aims to forge strong connections across the industry as he takes on the role of product manager for Pixel Power's automation and monitoring lines. Aaron started his career as a presentation director in his native New Zealand, before moving to London and holding equivalent jobs with BBC and Redby Media. Finally, Aurelia's Nakoa has joined as Pixel Power's new chief financial officer. Badger & Combs, a digital media and production company located at Media City in Salford, England, utilized high-vision mobile video transmitter solutions to deliver live broadcast coverage of Lancashire Cricket's preseason tour in Dubai and Bengaluru, India, to a global audience through an IP-based remote production workflow. High-vision mobile video transmitters were deployed on location, sending signals back to a high-vision stream hub receiver located in England for the entire production. Integral to their workflow, Badger & Combs leveraged high-vision air and pro mobile video transmitters, along with a high-vision stream hub receiver, to transport low-latency feeds over IP and cellular networks. A key advantage of using high-vision mobile video transmitters is the hitless failover feature, which enables seamless switching a wired IP connection to a cellular network in case of potential failure. PPDS, the exclusive global provider of Philips professional displays and complementary solutions, has announced the latest expansion of its North American business with the grand opening of its new PPDS Master Showroom Experience Center on the outskirts of New York City. Located in Fairfield, New Jersey, this new multidisciplinary venue is the second PPDS Master Showroom to be opened globally and the ninth in the network of PPDS Studios, following successful launches in Europe, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, and UK, and India. The PPDS Studio New York City Metro features several areas designed to showcase the company's portfolio of indoor and outdoor digital signage, DVLED, e-paper, business TVs, interactive, and video wall hardware and software. Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in Briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together.